Okay, this is question 14. The bearing of a ship from a lighthouse is 050 degrees. Work out the bearing of a lighthouse from the ship. Now we looked at the previous video uh, that you could just add 180 degrees onto this to find the actual bearing. But user t.c has pointed out says really confused as to why we've added 180 degrees and asked for an explanation of showing how we can solve this using a different method. So this time we're going to look at how would you solve this question by actually drawing the diagram. It takes quite a bit of time but it's worth it because then you can prove or test if your answer is correct in the first place. So first off we say the bearing of a ship from a lighthouse. So we have our starting point and this I'm going to call L is my lighthouse. Now to find a bearing of anything we need to know where north is. Because we're not specified this we can draw it on ourselves. You'd have to do this a little bit freehand but you decide where you're going to be measuring north from. We'll label that one north. So we have our starting point and we know where north is. So if the ship is on a bearing of 0, 050 degrees that means we're going to have to measure 50 degrees clockwise from north. So if you put your protractor on the lighthouse to show where we're beginning, make sure north is at 0 degrees, and then find where 50 is. So we can see 50 is here, so that means the ship is somewhere along that line. So from the lighthouse, anywhere up to that point and beyond, could be where our ship is. So I'm going to just pick a random point. We don't know the distance so it doesn't make any difference at this point. So I'm going to pick the end point here and call that S for ship. So we know that this angle here is 50 degrees giving us a bearing of 0, 050 0 degrees. The question asks can we work out the bearing of the lighthouse from the ship? So S, the ship, now becomes my starting point. So to find a bearing, we need to make sure that we draw on our north line from the ship. This has to go straight up, we should follow the direction that we used for north before. Label it with a little N to remind ourselves that that's north. And then we can measure this angle here, which will give us a bearing, clockwise from north, of the lighthouse, from the ship. So if we put a protractor onto the ship, so that it is pointing north, the closest we can actually get it, read off the angle from north, all the way around, we can see, I say there's a little bit of an error here due to the placement of the protractor, but it's about 229 to 230 degrees. So my answer here would be 230 degrees, if the computer let me make this a little bit more accurate. But there we can clearly see that the answer is 180 degrees different. That angle there being 230 degrees. Why is that happening? Well, if we headed in this direction, a bearing of 50 degrees, but then turned all the way around. If you go from zero and you turned all the way around, you'll have gone 180 degrees. So there will always be a 180 degree difference between one bearing and the return bearing. So that matches the previous answer saying if we did 50 degrees, plus 180, which gives us 230 degrees. I hope that makes sense. If you need any more help with this topic, please let me know.